There's something that happens every year for engineering professionals, and many of them don't take it seriously enough. In this week's engineering management lessons video, I have with me the host of our podcast, the Geotechnical Engineering Podcast, professional engineer, Jared Green. And Jared, you're gonna reflect a little bit on your career and how this one event that happens typically once a year is so critical, but yet so many engineering professionals don't take it seriously. Please, Jared, enlighten us. You know, when I think about my career and as it relates to engineering leadership, one of the things that was helpful for me was, you know, taking the performance evaluation process seriously. You know, performance evaluation is really not something a lot of us look forward to because, you know, you meet once a year, you talk about goals that you set last year and, you know, did you meet them or not? And in the back of your mind, you're probably thinking, am I going to get promoted? Am I going to get a raise? But, but what I realized is that with the performance re evaluation, that review process, that's an opportunity to really capture, you know, what have you been doing for the last 12 months? Now, every company is different. I know some companies have done away with this um, altogether. Uh, but I, I found that the performance evaluation, that was a time that I could really track what it is that, that I was doing or, and what it is that I set out to do that year prior. And I found that by setting goals, you know, with my supervisor and, you know, if I set those goals and I don't look at them to the next year, nothing's going to happen. But when I revisit those goals every quarter and then sometimes every month, just see how am I doing and then holding my supervisor accountable. If there are things that, that we said that I wanted to experience or, or, or get a shot at trying or tackling, if I didn't get to do those, I I'd bring those up. And say, hey, by the way, you know, we said we we're going to do this in the first quarter of this year, and it hasn't happened yet. Is there any way that we can make changes for that to happen? And again, in a respectful manner, of course. Uh, but I find that uh, by taking that process seriously, you're able to take ownership of your career. If there are things you're not experiencing, make a fuss about it in a respectful manner. Uh, and and in the end, I mean, your 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 advancement really does fall in your hands in some senses. So I find that that's a time to not just pat yourself on the back and say, I'm a great uh, employee and this is what I've done for the team, but to really see, well, where do I fit in? And, and the larger scheme of what we're doing here as a group or as an office or as a company. So just some things to, to, to keep in mind. And, and, and now that I'm on the end of actually performing uh, performance evaluations, I mean, I still get evaluated, but now I'm responsible for evaluating others. You know, I, I often encourage them to, you know, take the process seriously, you know, take time to evaluate, see how you're doing, uh, see what it is that you find if there might be some blind spots or or some lessons learned and, and find a way to learn from those to 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 advance your career. So just some things to keep in mind uh, for those that might be in that season right now or those that may have just come out of that season or going into that season, some things to some food for thought, so to say. I hope you enjoyed Jared's comments around the annual performance review. It is an event that is critical for engineering professionals, but a lot of them do not take it seriously. So please take yours seriously. And please consider subscribing to our channel here. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers, better leaders, and really the best version of themselves. I'll see you next week.